today i will discuss all about state and medical council exam i have already uploaded a one video about amc exam and uh, what are their parts and uh, what is the eligibility criteria and in this video i will discuss more uh, with uh, part one and part two with more explanation and what are the requisite and uh, how to create your portfolio and how to register with ecfmg so uh, let's come to our main topic state in medical medical council exam in order to give an answer to that there are many factors to be considered one of which includes how much time you are willing to put into preparing for the exam how effective your reading learning process is and how similar is own medical school training to the state in context The first thing to do is to attempt two separate AMC exams. Part 1 is the multiple choice exam while part 2 is the clinical exam. According to the latest reports from the AMC in one year there were 2663 AMC MCQs part 1 exams set with 15 59 candidates passing. And uh, that's pass rate, uh, rate of about 58% for the AMC clinical exam 597 candidates passed out of 2165 candidates assessed that's less than a 28% pass rate so this means that uh, the first part of AMC is fairly hard compared to the second part which is extremely hard to sum it up if you want to know more about the process of AMC exam including how best to prepare read on to find out more uh, first of all eligibility criteria for an IMG to be able to sit for AMC you must first establish what is called portfolio first there is a need to create a registration with the AMC website for the eligibility of your medical school the AMC recognizes more but not all of them you must then uh, also create a epic account and confirm your identity with the ecfmg so this is the eligibility requirements and also you need uh, your basic medical qualification mbbs degree and uh, then you can apply for amc exam one epic reports back in affirmative to sit the amc you will be allowed to request sit for the amc part 1 examination there is no actual work experience <coughs> requirement to sit the amc part 1 examination and you can start preparing for this whenever you like part 1 <coughs> mcq examination <coughs> the amc computer adaptive test cat mcq examination plays a vital role in the scrutiny of IMGs looking to become a doctor <clears throat> in Australia. It is computer administrative multiple choice question examination that can be taken in one sitting that lasts about 3 hours and a half hours. This is all about the part 1 MCQ examination that is also called CAT MCQ computer based adaptive test. The examination itself consists of 150 <coughs> E-type MCQs. You must select the one correct response from among five options. 120 of the question count towards your score. The remaining 30 questions are being piloted and don't count towards your final score. You don't know which questions are being piloted, so you have to give your best of all 150. You are expected to complete all 150 MCQs. and uh, must complete the 120 score items failure to complete all 120 score items in the examination may lead to insufficient information for a reliable determination of your ability and therefore a result on the amc adaptive scale clinical exam format the clinical exam format is a 20 stations structured clinical exam which assesses your skills in medicine surgery gynecology and obstetric pediatrics and psychiatry so this is cef clinical exam format 20 stations 
स्ट्रक्चर क्लिनिक एग्जाम विच एसेस योर स्किल्स इन मेडिसिन सर्जरी गाइनोकोलॉजी ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव पेडियाट्रिक्स एंड स्कैट्री दीज आर फोर्टीन स्कोर स्टेशन टू पिलॉट नॉन स्कोर स्टेशन एंड फोर रेस्ट नॉन स्कोर स्टेशन सो दिस इज क्लिनिकल एग्जाम फॉर्मेट यू कैन प्रैक्टिस ऑन डिफरेंट एरियाज इन यूर इन टर्शी केयर हॉस्पिटल्स ऑन पेशेंट एंड ऑल्सो देर आर मैनी वीडियोज अवेलेबल ऑन द यूट्यूब बट वन थिंग इट्स श्योर दैट यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिकली एग्जामिन टेक हिस्ट्री एंड परफॉर्म जनरल फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन एंड सिस्टमिक एग्जामिनेशन इन डिफरेंट फील्ड्स इन मेडिसिन सर्जरी एंड गायनोकोलॉजी सो दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर क्लिनिकल एग्जाम फॉर्मेट it is required that you pass 10 or more of the station to pass the exam the pass rate is incredibly very uh, low about 28% it is recommended that you not only study the handbook of clinical assessment but also practice as much role plays you can you must you may want to perform a study group and there you can practice what is called recalls which is when you a candidate who has previously said the exam attempts to reconstruct the station the cost of sitting the clinical examination currently 3530 australian dollars do you need to clear the amc clinical exam or to to apply for the job position no you this is a commonly asked questions no you don't but if you get a position prior to complete your uh, part 2 you will have to clear it as a part of your provisional registration before you can apply for the general registration generally speaking candidates with both amc part 1 and part 2 are preferred by employers over just part 1 so this was all about amc exam state medical council exam so uh, one thing you have to know So for uh, to clear the uh, AMC exam, you must have to score uh, in OET exam or sit for the IELTS exam. So for uh, this was all about state medical council exam. I have already uploaded one video that is uh, given will be given in the description. So you can watch both videos and inshallah you will get uh, more knowledge about AMC exam.